not rent or a mortgage payment. It's a bill for over $100,000 in student loans. 18 days. 18 days. That's all the time we have to stop student loan interest rates from doubling. 18 days makes a lot of difference to the young people who will have to pay thousands of additional dollars to the federal government at a time in their lives when those dollars matter the most. Christopher Valles has $20,000 in debt, and he's just a freshman. Gary Brewer, $57,000 in debt. Kent Fogg, $70,000. Sarah Curitan, $74,000. The Federal Reserve has noted that the U.S.'s $1 trillion in student debt is further constricting our economy. Young people are foregoing long-term job opportunities and home ownership in order to meet the urgent demands of their large student loan payments. And today, as they work hard to find jobs in this recession that they didn't cause, Congress debates whether to force students to pay more in order to pay down Congress's debt. Brandy. Christopher, Gary, Kent, Sarah, these graduates should not have to foot the bill for Congress's failure. In 18 days, I want to go back to Arizona and tell these students that I took their stories to Congress and that their stories mattered, that their experiences made a difference. When these young adults tell me that they just want a shot at the American dream, that they're working hard playing by the rules, and doing everything they can to live that dream, then they've done their part. Now it's time for us to do ours. I challenge us, all of us, Republicans, Democrats, Senators, Representatives, I challenge us to stand together and do the right thing. Stop the finger pointing and the cynical posturing. Instead, we must act together to keep student loan interest rates affordable. The clock is ticking. There's no time to waste. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield back my time.